suits are getting, getting worn out. I always say that in Suits, there's not a word on the page that shouldn't be there. It is a show that knows itself, knows its characters, and they're all fully realized. I think these characters are relatable, but there's an aspirational quality to them. Fashion is treated with the same kind of precision. If you go back and watch the shows in aggregate, you'll see peppered throughout great fashion references. And even in the pilot, Gabriel Mock, who plays Harvey Specter, approaches Mike Ross, his protege, who didn't go to law school, so he's sort of an imposter and he needs to look the part. And he looks at him and he says, did you buy that suit? And he goes, yeah. He goes, you need to go buy some new ones. And I feel like that moment sort of encapsulates what fashion is, that Harvey knew that you may not have a law degree, but it is as much about what you do in this, but also what you wear. Nothing's hard to do in a Tom Ford suit. A good suit just makes you look fantastic. I just got a beautiful Barbados three-piece suit. This is a Burberry suit that I'm in love with too, so there's a, I'm getting to wear a lot of nice clothes. TV's been a big influence in today's workplace. That the rules about when and where you need to wear a suit have changed so much. I mean, a lot of it, I think, is up to you rather than the, the situation. But if I'm going to go to a meeting or a formal meeting or a meeting of people that I haven't met before and I think that they're going to be wearing suits, I think it shows the greatest respect to wear a suit too. I never did in my life before, but now we're doing a lot of these great events where we get to come out and, and, and I, these are mainly at weddings. I've got nice suits for weddings now. A lot of my friends are getting married, so I get to show up and, and be dressed a lot better than I would before, which would be throwing on like an old blazer with an old pair of pants. So that's usually where my suits are getting worn now. Clearly the, the title lent itself to sort of finding um, our footing in the fashion world. People look to these shows for inspiration and they see what someone's wearing and want to go and buy it. When we first started working, we created this beautiful um, look for Harvey Specter. Being that he was a hotshot attorney in New York, we, we really wanted him to be fashion forward and be thinking about how he's manly, but he's romantic. He's a man who has um, sophistication that the suit also helps create. Being that he's in New York, I was looking at Sex and the City going, these women made fashion so much a part of their show, there's no reason why Harvey couldn't, couldn't be that for, for men right now. With Mr. Porter, we really wanted it uh, for men uh, to be a softer sale, and, and so the content and the commerce, are, as with Netta Porter, even more so in a way, is incredibly important. Because guys don't always just think, hey, I'm going to go shopping. It's raining, I want to do some shopping, whereas often women will do, as we can see from what's happened with Netta Porter. So with guys, you have to give them an extra reason to come to the site. And so creating a very masculine environment with Mr. Porter, with the content and the design, and also creating lots of content that isn't all just sartorially based, it, it creates a, a destination that men want to come to anyway. And then when they're there, then they perhaps get spurred on to do some shopping. So we're kind of there for those who want to leisurely stroll to a shop and those who just want to come, get their outfit and go out again. This started off as a partnership and a promotional partnership. We each have our respective businesses. We're firmly tethered in the entertainment world. They're firmly tethered in the fashion world. And what this is about is, is converging entertainment and fashion, but also commerce and technology. Launching an online store for men was a new venture. This project actually came through a mutual friend of USA Networks and mine at Vanity Fair. And she actually sent me a Facebook message saying, hey, there's this TV show called Suits. They're interested in doing something. So, you know, the power of social media, that's how this whole huge project came about. What we will constantly strive to do, and um, it's the hardest thing, is, is enabling men to be comfortable with size and fit. Um, particularly with tailoring, particularly with suits. With um, casual and contemporary wear, it's a lot easier. But for men to understand how to work out the right suit and the right size for them online is, is always the hardest bit. And we do put a lot of advice. We have the pictures of the guys. We tell you what size that guy wearing the item in the picture is. But I think that's the biggest learning curve, and we're constantly, constantly um, working on the feedback we get. And what's been great is men do give a lot of feedback, much more so than I imagined. So the great thing about digital is you can be so nimble with that information, you can react on it so quickly. So every day we're learning something new from our customers and every day we're striving to answer those, those queries and questions. And I think that this whole Mr. Porter collaboration that we're here for is like proof that it's just sort of starting to happen. But not only that we're influencing, but we're influenced. You know, in that first season we were just kind of operating in a bubble 
making a show, buying nice suits, hoping they worked. And now we're beginning to realize that there's like, that, that this that, that this influ influencing is starting to happen, that we can go on to Mr. Porter and our wardrobe designer can go on Mr. Porter and get ideas about what's cool and what works. And at the same time, hopefully our show and these characters can kind of inspire their own lines and things on, on the website. I think when the suit first came about, there was a sense that it took away people's personal style and democratized fashion in a way. Casual dressing also did that. I think we all started to sort of look the same. And this, this notion of taking great pride in your outfit and, and what you wear was lost. The suit is, is, is now coming back again in a modern way, but allowing men to have personality and a sense of, of individual identity that maybe didn't exist before. And that's what the purpose of this show is. Dressing like a gentleman um, is something that we all should aspire to.